What's going on everybody, it's Technicians Tuesday and this week while I was up in Georgia for some training I found a true pick apart boat salvage yard to visit. This place was huge and literally had thousands of boats and they were nice enough to let me film as I walked through the whole place so that all of you could see all of the different boats and stuff that they had there which they have pretty much anything you could imagine from a mountain of cowlings to a carburetor room and 53 foot long trailers with lower units for days to literally stacks of hauls. We're going to walk through this yard and see what they've got. So if you're new to the channel and if you like boats, make sure you get subscribed so you don't miss out on any of these weekly videos. Now this place is called Lanier Marine Liquidators and it's just off the northwest corner of Lake Lanier, which is a huge reservoir located in Georgia that was created in 1956 when they made the Buford Dam that controls water levels, which helped to keep water flow all the way into Alabama and Florida and feeds a ton of water into Atlanta. The lake is almost 60 square miles and is a huge hotspot for boating in Georgia and even held some events for the Olympics in 1996. But enough on Lake Lanier, let's get back to the salvage yard where all of the boats you came to see are located. So I don't know how big this place is, but it's quite a few acres and it doesn't really matter what item we're talking about, you could pretty much say that they have it for days. I was really surprised at how many jet skis there were, as well as this mountain of cowlings, just cowlings everywhere. Mind you, this is a true liquidation salvage yard where you can go in and pick a part off of pretty much anything. Pretty funny though that the first thing that we saw when I started walking in was a set of jet skis on a trailer that somehow caught on fire and actually burned for a while as you can see. It doesn't really look like they themselves caught on fire though, judging from what the inside looks like, maybe they were in a barn or a garage or something like that that caught on fire and basically just melted the hulls up. They've got these 53 foot trailers all over the place too that are filled up with all kinds of different things. There were like two or three of these trailers just packed out in line with lower units. If you wanted to get a deal on say a hydrofoil, this would be the place to get it. Days. Then they had fuel tanks all over the place, another trailer full of cushions and seats and stuff. There were also a lot of older outboards, Chryslers, Johnsons, Evinrudes, they were just everywhere.
Then there was also quite a few of these camo painted engines around. I saw at least three or four of them with this style of camo paint on them. And they were actually pretty well done. Whoever was painting them had actually gotten pretty good at doing this camo pattern. One of the interesting things about salvage yards and places like this is that you can just walk around for hours and come across all kinds of different and unique things. There is no end to what you could find in a place like this. Just like this shed here, where we have the land of carburetors, and there were quite a few good looking sets in here as well. Something that you do have to be extremely careful about though is the durability of the ladders and swim platforms on the boats. You better double check their strength before climbing up on some of these boats or you might rip the ladder out when you put all your weight on it.
Then when it came to the actual boats though, there was just so many of them. Most of them were some big project boats, but then there were also quite a few that were in pretty good shape and wouldn't be that bad to mess with. There were a few of these Sea-Doo jet boats and I actually wouldn't mind doing one of these boats as a future project. These are a really fun boat to play around in. You can get in super shallow water and whip them around on a dime so this wouldn't be a bad type of boat to restore. There was also quite a few different bass boats throughout the place as well, some of them in pretty good shape too. This one had a good looking hot foot.
I kind of want to do one of these jet boats. Ooh, I did come across this McKee craft that really caught my eye. I've actually been looking for one of these, about a 13 to a 15 footer. I would like to pick up one of these or a Boston Whaler of the same size. Now there wasn't a hen on this boat so I don't know what year this one was, but this is the exact style that I'm looking for so that made this boat really interesting to me. This is like a 15. I like this.
It's really amazing to see while you're walking through all of these boats how many different boat brands there really are. There was pretty much any brand you could think of. Saw a lot of Bayliners, Sea Rays, a few Rinkers in there, a Carver, there was even an inboard Dusky too, a Baja, a Donzi, a few sailboats, and quite a few four ones as well. I know this is a little bit different style of video than normal, so let us know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Did you like it? Do you not like it? Have you ever been to a boat salvage yard before? Is there a bigger yard we should check out? Let us know, and if you aren't already, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. You can visit us at bornagainboating.com. Thank you all for hanging out with us this week, and we look forward to seeing you next week.